what the fuck is up? Welcome back. My name is Noah Hills. You can find me on Twitter at Noah Moore Parties. And this is exactly what you thought it was when you clicked on the video. These are absolute locks for week 16 Thursday night football, which is tonight. Jaguars versus Jets, Thursday night football, uh, prize picks, prop bets. I got five of them for you uh, as part of prize picks's five by five flex play. Uh, Use the promo code BDGE to get, it's a deposit bonus. I'm sure it'll be on the screen. So do that, get free money that way, and then use it to uh, bet on these locks because why would you not bet on a lock? Let's do it. This is a this is a little bit of a weird game. If I had to rate my confidence level this week relative to all other weeks, it would be like a on a scale of one to ten, we'll give it like a three or four. Uh, because this is a decent offense in the Jags playing against a bad de- or decent offense playing against a good defense, Jags versus Jets, and it's a bad offense with the Jets playing against a bad defense in the Jags. So when we'd expect the Jaguars to do well on offense, but they're playing a bad def it, like. Both sides, like, cancel each other out, so it's difficult to get, like, a good read on what should happen in this game. Adding to that, the forecast for the weather this evening is, like, 15 to 20 mile an hour winds with 40 mile an hour gusts. It's supposed to be cold, supposed to get a lot of rain. Shitty weather, basically, that kind of fucks a lot of other things up, like passing yards and reception. All that kind of stuff is harder, and so my grasp on this game is, I don't know, if I just had to rate my confidence like a three or four relative to other weeks, um, given those kind of combination of factors, but nonetheless, these are locks. The first uh, line I like here is Greg Zerline, 1.5 field goals made. I like the under. Greg Zerline is averaging 1.8 field goals made per game this season, but he's only hit this line in five out of 14 games. He's got five field goals in one game, four field goals in another game, and three field goals in one more game. And then other than that, it's basically like one field goal in every game with like two sprinkled in there. But he's only hit this line five times. He's pretty much hitting like a field goal a game for the most part. And in just one of his last five games, has he kicked more than one, has he made more than one field goal? And the Jaguars have seen the seventh fewest field goal attempts of any team in the league. So they're bottom 10 in that category. And they've allowed more than 1.5 field goals made, so at least two in just half their games. And with the weather, it's looking like, you know, wait, rain, wind. It's, it's tough to kick in that. It's tough to do a long snap. It's tough to hold. It's tough to plant your foot. It's tough to kick. It's tough for the ball to go straight. Like, all of that makes kicking difficult. Plus, Zach Wilson sucks. I don't even know if he'll be able to move the offense in such a way that, like, he can get them in position for the gimme field goal attempts that will be needed in order to hit at least two in a shitty weather game. So I like Greg Zerline under 1.5 field goals made. The next line I like, we got some big brain uh, lines here this week. The second line I like is Jamal Agnew, eight and a half receiving yards. This line is very, very low, 8.5. I like the over. He's averaging 13.9 receiving yards per game this season, 21.3 per game in the last month. And in the last month, in his last four games, he's hit this line three times. And then wind plus rain plus the Jets defense, Sauce Gardner, DJ Reed are locking people down on the outside. The Jets allow the fourth fewest passing yards in the league and the second fewest receiving yards to wide receivers in the league. So underneath stuff in this game is probably going to be where it's at. Like you can't wheel and deal 40 yards downfield when Sauce Gardner is all over Zay Jones and the wind throws the ball off target anyway. So give me a couple screens, a couple jet sweep, like touch pass things. That is Jamal Agnew territory. He needs nine yards. I think he can do it. Uh, The next line I like is somewhat similar. CJ Uzama, tight end for the Jets, 9.5 receiving yards. I like the over. He's averaging 13.7 receiving yards per game this season, including 24 yards per game in the last month. He's hit this line also in three of his last four games. And in the game in which he didn't have nine and a half or more yards, he had seven yards on two targets. So he was still semi-involved in the passing game, just didn't quite get there. He plays between like 50 to 75% of the snaps each game. The Jags allow the fourth most yards to tight ends in the league. And again, the wind, the rain means Zach Wilson is not going to be able to hit receivers downfield because he can't do that anyway. 
plus the rain and the wind. Underneath throws are going to be easier to come by in this game. That's a tight ends job. CJ Uzama has a an average depth of target on the season of 5.6. I'm a, I'm a lot more confident in Zach Wilson's ability to throw it five or six yards downfield than I am his ability to throw it 15 to 30. So give me CJ Uzama over nine and a half receiving yards. The next line I like is Evan Ingram, 40.5 receiving yards. He's averaging 43.6 this season, but he is 162 and 62 in his last two games. And he's actually the most targeted player on the team in the last three weeks. Five more targets than Zay Jones in the last three weeks. And of the Jaguars, like main receiving targets. So that's Evan Ingram himself, Zay Jones, uh, Marvin Jones, Christian Kirk. Evan Ingram has the lowest A dot average depth of target of all of those guys. Like, in order to hit Evan Ingram, you don't have to hit Zay Jones down the sideline. Like, you can dink and dunk your way down the field with Evan Ingram, given that the wind is, like, less likely to impact his targets versus, like, a downfield target to Zay Jones or, you know, whatever. He's a tight end. He's operating near the line of scrimmage. Easier throws. And he's unlikely to see as much, like, Sauce Gardner, DJ Reed as those guys are, given that he plays tight end and lines up in the slot frequently. And the Jets are second in yards given up to wide receivers, like, second best but they're 21st against tight ends. So there's, you know, maybe not a weakness, but they're not they're not this elite defense against tight ends. Everingham has been relatively productive so far this season. He's been really productive lately. This is an exploitable defense for his position, and I think the circumstances of the game kind of lean in his favor versus the wide receiver. So I like Evan Ingram over on receiving yards, and the last line of this 5x5 that I like is Trevor Lawrence, 11.5 rushing yards. I like the over. He's averaging 17.1 per game this season, hit this line in only half of his games, but the Jets allow the fourth fewest passing yards to quarterbacks, so like I've said throughout, like the Jets are a good pass defense, the wind and the rain is going to make it difficult to throw, and the Jaguars just lost Cam Robinson, their left tackle for the season. He's now in I he's now on IR. Jets are seventh in the league in sacks. Weather makes passing harder. Cam Robinson being out makes passing harder. The pass rush, the pass defense, you know, coverage for the Jets. It just feels like a recipe for Lawrence to like bail out of some collapsing pockets and instead of, you know, throwing it downfield, run for a couple first downs. I think he can do that. He ran for almost a thousand yards in college. He's a mobile quarterback. He can get 12 rushing yards. I have one honorable mention and it is Travis Etienne, 16.0 rushing attempts. I like the over. He has 13, 17, and 19 rushing attempts in his last three games. Horrible weather equals running the ball, and there's not much behind Travis Etienne on this depth chart. It's like Snoop Connor, Jamichael Hasty. Um, they seem to be comfortable, again, feeding Travis Etienne, and if there's ever a game where you're going to want to feed a running back, it's in a game with terrible weather. So I like the over on Travis Etienne rushing attempts this week. To recap for the illiterate among you. Greg Zerline, one and a half field goals, under. Jamal Agnew, eight and a half receiving yards, over. CJ Uzama, nine and a half receiving yards, over. Evan Ingram, 40.5 receiving yards, over. Trevor Lawrence, 11.5 rushing yards, over. And the honorable mention, Travis Etienne, 16.0 rushing attempts, over. Have an excellent Thursday night. Have an excellent Christmas weekend with your families and friends and loved ones. Boys and girls, see you next time. Uh, peace. Thank <laughs> you.